Hello viewers, I'm back to do another unidentified person video and this time I'm going to do one rarely discussed on YouTube. So let's go to the beautiful state of Georgia to talk about the Cobb County Jane Doe of 1984. I picked this one because of this rather lively bust made of her by forensic artist Marla Lawson. Most busts of John and Jane Doe's look still and unnatural, but the bust of the Cobb County Jane Doe was made to look appealing and friendly, so someone might recognize her grin and identify her. Her skeletal remains were found at noon on a Thursday of May 10, 1984, in a wooded area near the Chattahoochee River in southwest Cobb County, Georgia, by the property owner. It appeared that her body had been dumped on the side of the road in a bed of pine straw and over time weeds had grown over her remains. She was a young white female between 18 and 25, estimated to be between 5 foot to 5 foot 4 and 105 to 115 pounds. She was wearing an auburn brown synthetic wig. She had surgical pins in her left ankle and had reconstructive surgery on her right eye with a plastic orbital plate and had a metal plate in the left shoe, suggesting she may have been in a major accident or had a birth defect. The woman was found wearing a long sleeve western style blouse with frilly ruffles around the front and a tan colored western boot with a thick fleece lining on her left foot. The other boot was found over her lower body along with a brown corduroy riches jacket, possibly men's size, 40 large. A single light colored socks with vertical blue and brown stripes, a wadded up blue short sleeve pullover shirt with a playboy bunny on it, size large, blue jeans and a light colored unbuttoned men's shop shirt with rolled up sleeves. There was the name George on the label on the front as well as the label Doug Hyde Limited. In the pocket of the shirt was a pack of camel cigarettes in a small envelope containing two apparent cigarette butts that were hand rolled, possibly marijuana. The George shirt was traced to Doug Hyde Limited, which employed a worker with the same name printed on it, but the police were unable to obtain any more information of value to the case. She may have been dead for a year and the cause of death is undetermined, but the way she was found, it could be murder. It is likely that she was a prostitute. Serial killer Samuel Little may have murdered this young woman in 1983 or 84 in Atlanta, Georgia. Little drew a portrait of the victim and told authorities she was a 26-year-old white female who was possibly from Griffith, Georgia. Her dental and DNA are available for comparison. If you have any information about this woman, you are urged to contact the Cobb County Police Department at 770-528-2200. Thank you for giving Cobb County Jane Doe a moment of your time. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.